Now, I just wanted, I just wanted to say something, because one, one thing, one thing um, Stephen Anderson did mention in his video is just us being a PowerPoint church. And, I, and a lot of you guys don't know why, you know, you know, am I just using a projector? Am I just using PowerPoint just to be contemporary, just to be liberal? No, of course not. I actually thought this through when I started this church, why I, why I wanted to use a projector and why I wanted to use PowerPoint. Um, and there's a couple of reasons. I mean, none of us here are against using technology to make our lives easier, right? I mean, that's why, that's why we use email, right? That's why we use the internet. We're not, like, I'm not sending out a, a, a paper newsletter and mailing it to your house every week. Like, I, that's why I use WhatsApp, I use Facebook, because I'm not against technology. Like, technology makes our life easier, it makes us more efficient, and technology can make a church more efficient. You know, that's why you can have live streams, you can do things like that. It's just using technology to make things more efficient. Um, so unfortunately, sometimes in the fundamental circles, you know, we're just holding on to the things just for the sake that they're old, you know, rather than actually thinking about better ways to do things. So the reason why, there's a couple of reasons why um, I decided to use PowerPoint. Number one is I wanted to keep everyone on the same page because sometimes when you, you're in a church and you have somebody preaching at the front, you know, they're flipping through their Bible, they're already there, but you're not there either and you lose the place, you've missed what they've said, you're not on the same page. Whereas I feel that when I project what I'm preaching on up there, everybody is on the same page. Nobody's wondering what verse I'm preaching on, where I'm at, what I'm referring to. We're all learning and, and focused on the same thing. Um, and this is why I use that Bible program because I, I, when I was first thinking, you know, when I started this church, I mean, it'd be great if I was using a Bible, you guys could see what I was seeing, you know, like you know exactly what page I'm turned to. So I, I decided, well, why don't I just use an electronic Bible and turn there and then everybody knows exactly where I'm turned to. So that, that was one reason. Another reason is if you use things like hymn books, sometimes you, have, you buy too many, sometimes you don't have enough. Sometimes you need to buy more and things like that. Whereas if I just put the hymns onto a PowerPoint, it doesn't matter how big our church is. Our church can be big, our church can be small, and, and we're all seeing the hymns, we're all singing at the same time. You know, this just was one thing I didn't have to worry about. You know, and hymn, hymn books cost money. I already had a projector, I already had a laptop, so why, buy, why spend money on books? Right? So that sort of was the thinking there with, um, with, the hymnal, with the hymns. Now, the other thing is, you know, with a, with a, with a PowerPoint is that I can, I can underline words and I can do things like that that you can't do. But one of my main reasons why I decided to use PowerPoint is because one thing I realized when, when me and my wife went to a church that didn't use PowerPoint, it was really difficult for my wife to follow along. Why? Because she's holding a baby. She's dealing with kids. She sometimes has to go to the back and stand up. So yeah, if you're like, a, you know, a, a, an old preacher or an old church member whose kids are grown up, or you're a single guy, you know, uh, a couple, a married couple that doesn't have any kids, yeah, sure, you can hold a hymn book, you can hold a Bible, and you can flip and carry a lot, a turn along. But I thought we were meant to be a family-friendly church. Right? So th this is why. It's a family-friendly church. We want your kids sitting here in with us. And if your kids are going to be here, then you're going to have to deal with them, right? You're going to have to hold your baby. You're going to have to deal with your kids. How are you going to do that if you're holding a Bible and you're holding a hymn book at the same time? Right? So that's, why, that's one of my main driving reasons why I think this is a good idea. Because I wanted mothers to be able to deal with their kids, stand up at the back, like Nathan, dads as well, like Nathan standing up at the back now with his kid and still know what I'm preaching on and not have to turn in a Bible or hold a hymn book at the same time. So there's that. And people might say things like, oh, you know, but don't you want people to learn, you know, in their Bibles and turn in their Bibles? You know, church is not where you learn where the books of the Bible are. I mean, you should be learning that in your own personal Bible reading at home. You should be reading the Bible every day, getting familiar with it. You don't, you know, not touch your Bible all week and then you come to church and that's when you practice turning in your Bible to what books and then you're missing everything that's being preached because, you know, that's where you think you're meant to learn it and you're turning while people are preaching. Um, it also makes, you know, my sermon a lot more efficient in the sense that I don't need to tell you, let's turn there and, and let's turn there, you know, 20 times in a sermon and use up 10 minutes of my speaking time. I could be teaching you for 10 minutes rather than us turning in a Bible for, for, for uh, 20 minutes. So that's why, you know, these days, you know, like people, there's a stigma seems like in fundamental churches that if you don't come to church with a paper Bible, then you're somehow less spiritual than somebody that uses the Bible on their phone. I, I thought we were for technology. Like technology makes your life easier. It means I don't have to carry everything. I've got the phone. I've got my Bible on my phone. I mean, what difference does it make if it's in, in paper or not? Um, it's just a different medium. 
so those are my thoughts there. Hopefully that you know gives you a bit of idea. You know why why I decide to do this. Why I go to, why I go to the effort of setting this up. It's so that everyone's on the same page. It's easier for us. But but most importantly, I think it's so that parents can still follow along with the sermon when they don't have the hands to hold a Bible and things like that. Sorry, that's a that's a bit of just something extra. I just thought I'd talk about that because you know, in true PowerPoint church style fashion, I am done a PowerPoint today, because um, I wanted to um, put the verses in here. I had some positive feedback from my last couple of sermons, uh, just people saying, you know, when you underline the different verses, you underline the words, it makes it a lot more easier to follow. So I thought I would do that just so when I talk about the different verses, I can get you guys to focus on what words I'm focusing on.